So I just realized I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing last week. And the cat is once again in her same spot. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's week two and uh, not done yet, but I am like 99.9999% done. So I've been spending some time thinking about what I'm going to do afterwards. I need to take these out. Can't even hear anything. Okay, that is so much better. Anyway, I've been spending time thinking about what I'm going to do for the rest of Nano. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go back to the beginning. I am going to go back to the beginning and uh, fill in a little bit. And also, I'm going to redo my plotter because um, I deviated a little bit. I want to make sure everything in the plotter is like real because this is getting a second book. So I'm going to need to reference the plotter. That'll be fun. It'll be fun to see how much changed because I didn't, I feel like I didn't change too much. Although I am making one major change here at the end. There was supposed to be like a big reveal kind of thing from one character. And um, I'm going to save it for next book. Anyway, the thing was, this character was carrying this guilt throughout this entire book for the thing. And they were going to feel guilty about some other person getting found out about something completely different and try and like, uh, you know, take the heat off, I guess. But um, as I was writing, those two characters didn't become as close as I thought they would. So now it kind of doesn't make sense. And also I was thinking it's kind of like a get out of jail free card for the other character. And I don't know if I like that. It sounded good as I was plotting. It does not work good as I'm writing. There's a whole bunch of hints about what the uh, reveal will be, but it's just not going to be in this book. And then I was also going to look at where I should be adding more content. Where is it? Right here. So I have color coded. Please ignore it says chapters. Those are not actually chapters. It's just how Plotter exported them. But I color coded the big sections. But you can see there's green, red, blue, and I guess gray. And uh, red, obviously the biggest section. This is probably going to be maybe one or two more scenes added onto the gray section at the end here. So I think gray might actually be a good length right now, but I think green needs more, maybe blue, but maybe not blue. Maybe I should explain what these sections are. Green is intro, obviously. I think this first red section actually kind of still qualifies as green, but I cut it there is because I left the town and it's kind of like they're going into a whole new world kind of section. So I guess green intro, red, whole new world and the initial inciting incident. Um, blue is things have changed. They started to look up for a little bit and then they got really effed again. And then uh, eight is just the uh, climax, the gray. I don't know. I said eight. I said eight. But yeah, all of these scenes are in the world of the same kind of word count. I got some low ones at 1200, most of them around 1700. Some of them spiked up to 2500. So there's outliers, but they're mostly around the 1700 range. So I'm kind of glad I color coded this because I could like see at a glance um, how big my act sections are. So I don't know if I explained how I use beat sheets, but um, I kind of use them a little bit and then I just like go with it. Like, I don't know what any of these. Okay. I wish I could screenshot. There's just so many spoilers on this page right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, I used the eight sequences main plot. Eight sequences is a three act structure and I somehow made it a four act thing. Anyway, so I don't really know. An adult fantasy novel is supposed to be like 90,000 as the floor, okay? Right now I'm at 60,500 and my end goal for this Project Nano was, uh, Project Nano, Camp Nano was 63,000. And I'm thinking just going back in and adding uh, descriptions in because I kind of gloss over that kind of stuff but adding in descriptions will add a big chunk and then let's see i said three and then the scenes that i have plans already it, 
to add in are gonna be like 6,000 words. We'll see, we'll just see. Uh, there's definitely more that needs to be in here. I guess I'm not too concerned about that at the moment, but I am keeping that in the back of my brain as I'm adding stuff in. So yeah, I don't even, I can't even guess how much descriptions are gonna add in. Uh, Cause right now, this is a big white room kind of thing. I have described one character Rooms don't really have descriptions. I have um, kind of described the lighting fixtures because they're actually plot relevant, interestingly enough. I have described the type of wood in uh, the houses out on the road, the safe houses, and that's pretty much it. And I, I have no idea like how much that will add. So I think I just gotta re-examine after I have gone through my description editing pass, which is actually kind of far down the road. So I don't know, I'm getting ahead of myself. So anyway, for now, this week, I will definitely finish this story this week. Oh my God, so close to finishing this freaking story. So I'm going to be finishing this story this week, and then I'm going to go back to the beginning, add in a couple scenes. I'm going to flesh out the town, the city a little more. I definitely need to add in a little more backstory. That could be like spread out. That and then the one character, she needs more presence. I realized as I was writing, she wasn't really doing that much. It's because she's the new person. Um, She doesn't really know what to do because this is her first time outside. So I think I backburned her a little too much. She She's going to like naturally get backburned a little bit, but she got overly backburned. So I need to go through and, you know, make her more of a person and um there's one character i think i want to beef up their relationship with the main character a little more i think that's mostly it yeah that's gonna be my camp project hopefully at least i'm gonna start i'm not, I'm not gonna finish all of that definitely <laughs> some of that requires a lot of thought so i'm gonna be starting some of that and see where this ends up in good news real life news um we have finished the large projects that we had going on, uh, one of which was a gigantic carpet, like bigger than a door. It was it's taller than a door. We had to frame it. The thing was like four feet long on the top. I had to sit there and hand stitch each fringe. It was like a, I think I'll put a picture of that. Sitting there for hours, stitching each fringe together so it could like stand vertically as it's framed. That took forever, but it's done. It's done. Now it just needs to leave the shop. There's also a smaller carpet that was with that bigger carpet. Um, thankfully, did not need to stitch that one because I would have went insane. So yeah, uh, back to a normal-ish workload at work. So I will definitely be sitting down earlier. Less unwinding time, more writing time. That's what I'm hoping for. It feels like so much more time has passed. It's, it's okay, it is Wednesday. So it's two days before the two week mark is actually up. And it feels like April is almost over. Oh my God, I need to go to the food store before that freaking certificate runs out. I couldn't have kept that to myself while I'm filming. Okay, anyway, I will see you next week. Hopefully you're all doing good. Hopefully the month isn't like passing you by psychologically as quickly as it is for me. <laughs> anyway, good luck. Bye-bye.